Folks, and welcome to the opening bell with Dan Frio. I am Dan Frio, and this is your rate update regarding mortgage rates and the housing market. So let's get off to the, our start for the day. Let's see what the headline news says. Retail sales are starting to slow. Okay, so this is what I'm saying. I kept saying, you're gonna start seeing reprieves in a lot of these numbers, and I know everybody's out there saying inflation's running out of control. Hmm, let's see why maybe they're running out of control. Well, we have corporate America's profit margins were the highest ever in 2021. Hmm, so what we're saying is everybody's having a tough time, but corporate America is making record profits. Maybe that has something to do with our inflation index. Maybe it's the drug companies CEOs getting almost a billion dollars in a retirement package. It's not okay then. We hold the world ransom for $100 billion. Get on to the economic calendar. We see that core retail sales right in here. Last month, previously 4.4%. Now it's 0.2. Okay, that's core retail sales. Retail sales in general for February was expected at 4.9. We came in at 0.3. So a lot of sales are starting to slow down, like I said. So you take out energy costs uh, out of this, plus corporate America just jacking the heck out of, of money or out of uh, their costs. Why was that? And I did a study not too long ago to show everybody that consumers had the most highest disposable income ever, ever since recorded history in 2021. How can that be? So again, this is all relating to the inflation front. Please pay attention to what I'm saying. If you don't have any bills, okay, so let's say we take off your mortgage payment or your rent, which they did for most people in, in the country, plus no student loan debt, but you continue to make your paycheck and maybe a little bonus check every month. Would you spend that extra money? Yeah. Okay, so that's a huge piece of this puzzle, guys. Yes, supply chain issues are, are a concern and a huge concern, which they should be. The, um, the chip manufacturers, it's, it's, it's weighing on the, uh, the car industry and the appliance industry. I get it. But between the uh, corporations jacking their prices, which they're able to pass these on, they're saying, and it's proved, proven right here. So that being said, let's go on with all this has to do with mortgage rates. Well, today the Federal Reserve is coming out saying what they're going to do. The expectations is they're going to increase the federal funds rate. Federal funds rate, not the mortgage rates, not credit card rates, not car loan rates. The federal funds rate a quarter. That's what I also anticipate with all the Russian-Ukraine war and everything else coming out. All right, so based on all that information, what am I expecting? Well, my expectations is the Federal Reserve comes out later today and says we're going to increase rates 25 basis points. The markets are going to say, poof, and then they're going to start looking for the next uh, Fed meeting, which is going to be in six weeks. What are they going to do then? So that's when the inflation numbers and the job numbers are really going to start playing a role. So let's get over to the mortgage rates. That's why you are here. So today we're seeing mortgage rates coming in. And again, guys, let me let me recap this. We get these rates. I, I basically get rates from Mortgage News Daily because they do a huge survey through mortgage lenders throughout the whole country. And it gives us a benchmark. So basically what I'm trying to say to you is this isn't probably your rate, but at least tells us the direction rates are taking and so forth. So I'm trying to educate you guys on you know, how are mortgage rates created? What affects them? What should we monitor? And so forth. So we get over to here. Let's get back to my mortgage rates uh, right here. Today's 30-year fixed rate is coming in at 4.42. That is up one basis point. The 15-year fix is coming in at 3.74. That is up two basis points. We then get to the FHA rates. FHA slash VA is 3.88. No change there. The jumbo is coming in at 3.86. It is up one basis points and the arm continues to go up. Um, now it's at 3.8, up three basis points. Okay, so that's where rates are. So let's get the direction of the trends. We scroll down right here. And this is the chart of where mortgage rates have been historically. Okay, and this tells us where we are for today. Right now, what's the temperature of the MBS market, mortgage-backed securities market? It is negative, meaning there's, there's heavy selling. Let's see what's going on there. 
Okay, we're down 20. This morning before pre-market, we were up 19, so it's a big move. It's a 40 basis point move. Let's refresh it, see the direction. Coming back a little bit. I'm gonna show you my live report here in a second. So what does this do? What is this really? Well, basically this is the bond that trades on Wall Street that gives us the direction that mortgage rates are taking. So this is called a mortgage-backed security. It says it right up here. This gives us the price, what's going on with the price of the bond. As this number goes down, Okay, mortgage rates or yields go up, just as an inverse relationship. The bigger this number, the bigger the move. This is an okay number. Uh, lately, we've been seeing about 70 and 80 basis points, which is really out of whack. Um, so 16 basis points, I'll take it. What's happening today? Biggest news we're waiting for the day is the FOMC. They're gonna come out and tell us what they decided to do on how much they're gonna raise the federal funds rate. Um, so that is our morning update, our morning report. If you find interest in my channel, I hope you do. What do I ask you to do? Well, the biggest thing is reach out to us. We are more, we are the largest mortgage brokerage in the country reaching out to help you guys with a mortgage. If you're looking to build a house, I did a video last night with huge reception. A lot of people that are building houses are getting stuck. They can't rate lock until about 30 or 45 days prior to closing. You know, a lot of people are getting horror stories. They were pre-approved at 275, now the rate's at four and a half. Their rate, their payments went up about six, seven hundred bucks on average. That's tough. So if you're in that position, please give us a call. If you need pre-approved, please give us a call. If you're looking to build your own home, we now have a one-time close. Okay, we offer reverse mortgages, which is a huge product of ours, and non-QM programs. So to find out more about me and my team, all I ask you to do is go to, shoot, I missed it on there, therateupdate.com. It's right here. If you want to reach out to us, you go over here. You can give us a call at 844-775-5626. You can schedule a meeting, and you can even apply online. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you find value in my channel. If you do, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hit the bell every time I post a video. You get an alert. I'll see you this afternoon. Bye-bye.